What's going on, YouTubers? Let's do some ribs. Let's do some uh, spare ribs. We're going to put some uh, Mad Hunky general purpose rub on. This stuff is awesome. You guys have seen me use this years ago, but I've never used it on ribs till recently. Don't know why, but it, it's the best ribs I've ever made. I've made a lot of rack of ribs, lots of racks of ribs. And this, these are the best. You got to order some Mad Hunky. This is a pound, this is how they sent it to you, and then you put it in your own shaker. Saves on chipping and everything. Uh, let's do it. So I've got a couple pre-St. Louis trimmed uh, spare ribs here. We're going to take the uh, membrane off. You all have seen that before. Get under it and grab it with a piece of paper towel and just yank it off. Knock the camera over. Slippery stuff. I'll do the other one off camera. So I'm gonna pat them dry. Paper towels. Membranes removed. Get the moisture off the tray as best we can. We got two different sized racks, obviously, so the little one's going to be done before the bigger one. But both of them are going to be about three hours. I do that's how I do them now. 300 degrees, 290 to 300 for about three hours, and I crank it up to well, maybe 370 to get some burn the fat off at the end. You know, give it a little crisp. Let's maybe put a little barbecue glaze on it. But anyway, here's the mad hunky. I put it in here. Let's do the back side first so we don't mess it up. So like I said, I've never used this on ribs so lately, but to, I just, I don't know why. Can't to get no good reason, but it's good on everything. This stuff is good like as a seasoning on popcorn or front, you know, uh, potatoes. You like tater wedges. Stuff like that. But it's damn good on ribs. That's really what it's made for. Alright, let me get we're gonna let this rest in there for at least a half hour while the grill is coming up to temperature. These are what I'm smoking them on Lumberjack. 100% cherry. These are my new favorite here. These are real good. Real good flavor. I got a four different flavors from Lumberjack. They're all real good. Good pellets. Get them at uh, Rural King. They're like $8 a bag for a 20 pound bag. Not too bad. Get them on. The 
like to let them set a little longer, but they'll be fine. We'll see you back in about three hours. I'll show you what they look like. We'll sauce, sauce them up. Two and a half hours in. Go ahead and flip them. This one's about done, the front rack. I'm going to baste it here soon with some sauce. Alright, let's sauce it up one of them up. This is what I've been using. This stuff's really good. I didn't used to sauce them until they you know, until they were done, but I like it this way now. these cool for a minute the other rack still cooking because it's bigger a lot bigger than this one let's see how we do How'd we do on these? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Still have bite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're not going to have the smoke ring you're going to get for six hour ribs, obviously, but that's how I like them now. They're good. Not too fall off the bone. Thanks for watching. I'll post the links for uh, Mad Hunky Blow. Check them out. Really good. They got different. He's got poultry, brines, wing, wing rubs, a bunch of stuff. I'll post the link below. Thanks for watching.